Why can't Nexon just get a better hack shield? There is not a best hack shield that will work. I mean, every game, there's hackers. I mean, a better hack shield would be better, but still get hackers. Like I was I telling the other guys, if, if there's people that be able to uh, hack into government computers and, and stuff like that and major corporations, gaming servers are a walk in the park for a half-ass hacker. I mean, I've played AVA for like six months, and the only thing I didn't like about it was it was like hard as hell. But I never seen the first hacker on there. He probably will, but it's not necessarily a real popular game. Once the game gets real popular, then they'll start going in there and exploiting it, just like all the other ones. But, uh, I mean, AVA, what, AVA is going to use the same security measures as, uh, say, NORAD? Or the White House. Well, if you look at if you look at uh, Counter Strike, I mean, I, they have hackers, but see, they actually ban the IP addresses. I think Nexon should Nexon should be doing that. Should it's nothing. To, it's nothing to change an IP address, man. I know. When you have a um, a dynamic IP, the bill just keeps switching. And they also have IP addresses where, I forget what they call that, but you have, you know, when they uh, ban uh, Brazil, Brazil from playing the U.S. servers, they go to, their, I forget what site it is, and you'd be able to basically change your IP to make it look like you're coming out of North America, even though you're in South America or U U.K. or wherever. You'll change your IP address to make it look like you're within that region. So, yeah, you're right. It's... It's not a problem to really change your IP address if you really wanted to. Okay. I think everyone's ready. Who's, who, uh, anybody running meds? Me. Yeah, I can. Do you think Hi, I'm Dale. Okay. Call out reds for mids.